Exchange Online is one of the key parts of Microsoft's Office 365 offering. And this short video is going to just give you a brief introduction to what it is, how it differs to Exchange Server, and what it can do for your business. Now, I'm going to start off with you, Simon, uh, because you are an IT evangelist for Microsoft and know everything there is to know, as far as I'm concerned anyway, about Exchange Online. So how does it differ to Exchange Server? Well, the main thing is that we run Exchange Online uh, for you from our Microsoft data centers. So you don't have to deal with things like patching the software on the server, like managing the hardware that's uh, supporting that particular server. All right. And, uh, so what are the, the key benefits then that it uh, delivers? So, so pretend I've never used Exchange before. What does it actually offer a business? So um, if you think about when you're trying to use Exchange in a, uh, in a business environment, when you're trying to use email in a business environment, actually you want to have easy access to everybody else that's within your company. You want to be able to just go and um, type an email to Tim Danton. You don't have to think about putting at some company name or whatever in there. You want to be able to go in and schedule a meeting just by um, popping in, seeing the other person's calendar, seeing their free busy information, seeing if they're available at that time. And you also want to be able to have a conversation really quickly. So that might mean um, thinking that you want to start off writing an email, but then actually just want to turn that into an instant messaging conversation. And it enables you to do that just so simply. You don't have to have any other integration. There's a few other components that you'd have to take from, uh, say, a suite like Office 365. But yeah, essentially, they're all integrated together. And are there any downsides to uh, Exchange Online versus um, actually Exchange Server? Actually, there's really very few. Um, one of the things that to always bear in mind, though, is that there is a place for uh, both an on-premises environment with Exchange Server and a off-premises environment in the cloud with Office 365. And the reason for that is it can help you around little deployment um, difficulties that you might have. OK, let me turn to you, Connor, because um, I'm uh, in this scenario, I am a, a long time Exchange user. Maybe I'm on Exchange Server 2007. How easy is it for me to, um, to migrate to Exchange Online? It's very simple. It's uh, quite an easy process, particularly if you're already using an Exchange environment. There are some integration pieces you have to do if you want single sign-on, etc. But uh, essentially, it's just like having another Exchange server in your environment in a rich coexistence or you can do cutover and simply move everything over on one particular day. Cutover, do you call that? Cutover. Now what's that when it's at home? Cutover is, is where you just redirect all your new inbound and outbound mail via Office 365, and then once you've done that, you allow your users in, and then you start migrating your old data or your old emails, calendars, contacts, etc., into the new email system. That's called, referred to as cutover. OK, and what if I want to do a slightly slower migration? What if I want to test it, let's say, with uh, 15 of my users. Is that possible? Yes, that's very, very possible. You use a rich coexistence mode then. And that, what that really means is you have a server that integrates to the cloud piece, um, and then you can seamlessly move mailboxes to and from the cloud. Um, and so will I still have control over my company email? Yeah, you, you still have control, but you don't have control over, over how the mail flows, keeping the server up, keeping the server running. Those, those kind of business as usual tasks go away, but you still have control over who can see what mailbox, who can access what mailbox, and all the non-mail flowing type activities in, in, in Exchange. So to you, David, as a small business owner, what are the advantages of Exchange Online? Um, for me, as a small business owner, um, the obvious one and the, the crucial one for me is the mitigation of risk. It's the fact that I no longer have to have a physical server sitting in my building. I don't need to administrate that server. Um, I don't need the, the, my accidental administrator who has another day job probably because there's no professional IT administration staff in my company. They don't need to administrate that anymore. Um, administer it even. Um, if they're out of the building when the server goes down, that's a disaster for me. So and the, the, the idea of just being able to give that, the whole, that whole area of my business, outsource it to Microsoft, who obviously do that for a living, have enormous resources that my company doesn't have. Um, there's a, I believe there's a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee, which I could never possibly guarantee if I, if I was doing that in-house. And that's just a huge advantage for us. So I suppose that begs the question, Simon, why should anyone actually stick with Exchange Server? Well, if you're a small business, there's probably uh, very few reasons to. There might be some uh, niche concerns around keeping data locally. There might be also some deployment concerns around maybe you have um, a lot of users who are very um, connected to each other, mainly sending internal email, and have a very, very narrow pipe out to the internet. But generally, people should be looking to adopt a bit of a cloud-first mentality around uh, their email. And what about the enterprises? They have more granular concerns. So they may well need to live in a rich coexistence environment for um, a number of years, which is perfectly fine to do. They might want to migrate people over to a cloud solution um, fairly slowly. They also may have a, um, a real requirement to keep some 
uh, organisation, some parts of their organisation on premises still. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. I think that's given a very good introduction. Uh, now, all I'll say is that Exchange Online does not live in a vacuum. It also has two very similar sister products, um, or two coexisting sister products, I should say, in Link Online and SharePoint Online. And we also have brief introductory videos to those, so I encourage you to go and have a look.